I cannot believe how ugly I would be if I had <laughs> eyebrows the size of my forehead. <laughs> There's nothing that could save me from that. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm like just outside of my microblading appointment and I am terrified. Okay, terrified is a strong word. Like I'm not terrified. I have nine tattoos or 10 or 11 or something, but it's a little different when you're getting a tattoo on your face, you know? So I'm a little uneasy about that, but I'm really excited. I have the worst brows. Like I don't know about you guys, but I was like a child of the spend $7 at Sears to get your brows waxed like every week face. Um, and that was everything. Having like paper thin eyebrows with like not a single hair out of, out of place was exactly what like I was aiming for. And as a result, this is what I'm working with. So like no brows. I am headed in. I've been waiting like six weeks for this appointment. So since we are new to Dallas, I was super uneasy about finding just like a random person to tattoo my face. Like there was a bunch on Groupon and all kinds of things, but I didn't know like exactly where to go and like what I should look for. And obviously like you've seen people's Instagram pictures, right? Like sometimes it looks nothing like real life. And so I felt like the same thing could happen with um, people who were posting brow transformations. Like it would look great on Insta and then I would get home and one would be like up here, one would be this way. So um, I waited until we made like a friend and I asked my neighbor, um, she has like adorable everything, just so cute and her brows are perfect. And I was like, who did your brows? And she told me, she gave me the name. And so I found this person on Instagram um, and like made sure I checked out their Instagram and it like matched up with what she said and matches her brows. So anyway, but what's super cool about her gig is that she travels around everywhere doing these, doing brows. Um, and so she, are we not soulmates anyway? Like spirit animal. I'm waiting till she came back to Dallas to do um, an appointment here. And here we are. So it's happening. Uh, I have like 10 minutes until I go in. Well, I mean, I have like 10 minutes until it starts. It starts, um, which means I'm probably gonna go in now because I'm like a weirdo. I like to go into places like 37 minutes early and be like, I'm here and I'm prepared and I'm ready. I have to pee so bad too, like so bad. And I should probably do that before I start getting like just tattooed on the face. Okay, let's do this thing, you guys, I'm ready. Had anyone allergic? That's it. That's all the feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just like you're kind of scratching someone a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's hard. like I mean, it gets a little more. You feel it different on your face, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so I'm going to do this first pass. Okay. And then I'm going to add numbing stuff. Do this pass, numbing stuff, and then I'll wipe it all off, and you can okay. look at it. Oh my god, my eyes watering. Yeah, that's totally normal. Um, eyes watering and sneezing. Yeah, I was gonna say my nose also feels like it has water in it, like you know that feeling yeah. where it's like burning. You're like, who is touching? Yeah, and that's because um, your sinuses are right here, and that's where my hands rest. And when I pull your skin and stuff, it just gives like gives you like this weird sensation. Wait, your sinuses are all the way up there. Mm -hmm. That's why when people get nose jobs, they have that packing that comes out, and it looks like it's 17 miles long. <laughs> yeah, because it's all the way up in our forehead. <laughs> Okay, so that was the first pass. Oh, okay. That was amazing. Not too bad. They look so pretty already. The shape is amazing. The color looks good. I'm going to put some numbing stuff on. God, this is a terrible angle for me, though. <laughs> no, it's really not. Actually, maybe that might be better. Okay. But you still look cute. That's not what I was trying to right get. Right up my nose. <laughs> Add up the old nose hole. <laughs> no, that will be great. Oops, I'm moving. So the weird thing about this is the second pass, or sorry, the opposite brow always hurts worse. Really? Yeah. So tell me if you feel like that's the case so for far, you. So far, I don't yet. Okay, good. The the closer you got to like the middle, the yeah, more it started to hurt. Yeah. It's probably because I was always plugging my unibrow. I'm used to have like <laughs> no sensation there. <laughs> it's gone. 
It's it is thicker skin right there. <laughs> Just like naturally on people, which is not something you would think about. It's tighter skin over here is thinner and a little looser. That's where all my droopy shit's gonna come in in <laughs> yeah. like a year. I hope not a year. I know, who knows? I don't know. I just, oh, the, every year I get older, I imagine myself being like 100. <laughs> like every year, I'm just like, that's it. It's done. It's over. I'm going downhill. Yeah. I found like five gray hairs this morning, like somewhere just like buried in my head. I was like, I was no. pulling them out like at the root. Really? That hurt worse than this. That probably hurt way worse than this. So this is the last pass? Yeah, so this will be the last pass on this eyebrow. And it will just be more of detail filling in and that fun stuff. So do you just like rent out um, rooms when you, mm -hmm. not rooms, I made you sound like a total prostitute. No, you just <laughs> rent, out, rent out rooms. <laughs> um, yeah, so I rent out um, this room. This is at the Lash and Glow Studio in Keller, Keller, Texas. And then I randomly started going to Amarillo and I rent out a room at, it's called the Perfect Peach Waxing Studio. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> why is it called that? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> do you have any questions about microblading? Or do you feel like, what's the questions people would ask? Um, I, guess, I think the thing I was asked the most was, is it going to hurt? So I guess I know that now. Yeah, what do you, how do you describe it? Um, I would say I guess it's probably just more like a little irritating than hurt. I would say it's like maybe if you had like light sunburn and then you were like itching it. Yeah. That's kind of how it feels. That's very descriptive. I obviously, that was good. I obviously itch my sunburn a lot. Got some light sunburns. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know. What can't I do after this? So, for my aftercare, you won't get your brows wet for 48 hours. Okay. And then you're going to clean them in the morning with witch hazel. You'll put aquaphor on them all day so they don't scab up. And then you'll put witch hazel again on them at night. Okay. And aquaphor all night. So you're basically going to have aquaphor on them for seven days straight. Oh, just like goopy just brows. Like a, yep. Awesome. Just like a good old tattoo. Oh, we'll see. I guess that's apparently what you do when you take care of the tattoos you have. <laughs> okay, so this is like six hours post microblading. Guys, so far, I'm like loving it. Um, a couple of quick things. Okay, so this is like six hours post microblading. So far, I'm obsessed every time I look in the mirror, not with myself, just with my brows, from here up. Um, and a couple of quick thoughts, like immediately after microblading, so that like I'm thinking about it now. Uh, it didn't hurt a ton during. It felt sort of like scratching. Um, and it didn't really hurt afterwards, but I will say, so it's like 107 degrees here in Texas right now. And after, like when I went out into the sun, it was like burning. I don't know if it was like the sun itself or the heat or what it was, but like they were on fire. Um, as soon as I put the aquaphor on though, it must have been like happening when they were getting dry because my brow girl instructed me to keep them like super moist. Ugh, that word. And I think maybe being out there was like causing them to be dry already. So as soon as I put it on, the discomfort went away. And that's really all I have so far since not much has really happened. But I am super excited to see how these bad boys heal. Stay tuned for a close up, okay?